cannot have just disappeared. He was fine when I left him. What's going on? Mike's left it. He can't have. Well, I doubt if he's been kidnapped. Have you checked the toilets? Maybe he's in there. He's not in the toilets. The state he was in last night, he couldn't have even got through the door. Listen, I want someone in here now that knows what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. You have lost my dad. <coughs> I keep dropping in. You know, for something with a bit of bling. How old are you going to be? Uh, never, ever. Be that your age or your pin number. Uh, my pin number's my date of birth. Well, there you go. Another reason why not to tell anyone how old you are. <laughs> hey, why don't you come over here? I mean, if we're missing out on dinner, I don't fancy shouting much. I'll be parched. You know, he keeps on teasing me, pretending like he's forgot it's going to be my birthday. <laughs> he thinks it's amusing. That's bloats for you, the winter. But then, the more he pretends, the less subtle I get. I started off by singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, you know, stuff like that. And then this morning, I ended up writing a note with Buy Diamonds written on it and stuck it on his forehead while he was sleeping. <laughs> so are you going to go out for your birthday, then? Oh, yeah, defo. I mean, even if he texts me Amsterdam, you know, we'll still do summer. Amsterdam? Yeah, Joanne. It's like Diamond Capital at work. Oh, nice one. Hiya. Hey, brought you some dinner. Oh, ta. Flipping, eh? Would you jump in my grave so fast? Oh, I'm, I'm just sat here while we're doing this. I didn't think you'd mind. No, well, why would you mind? I mean, you've been sat there for weeks, haven't you? You don't mind, do you? Yeah. Of course not. It's just the usual stuff, really. Now tell me I've nothing to worry about. You've not? Them legs have got ambition. You're not being fair on Vernon. Look at him when we were on that cruise. All those showgirls, waitresses. He never looked at anyone but you. I know women like her. She's got a glint in her eye. She wants my fella. I know she does. Well, what for? Honestly, Liz, I know you're going out with him, but he's no George Clooney, is he? He's a drummer in a band knocking 50. Daddy? Lee, I need you to get back in the flat, love. Well, Mike's gone AWOL. Yes, he's disappeared, and we're running around like headless chickens looking for him. Are you all right, love? Oh, go away! Are you all right? I say go away and leave me alone! I want to go home. Yeah, after years of teaching and crying out for private time, now I'm retired. Well, sometimes the silence of an empty house makes it impossible to think. I could reserve a spot at the bar for you. Call it Ken's Thinking Corner. That's the smile of a polite man who just wants to be alone. How's about I pull you another and let you be, courtesy the interfering barmaid? Thank you. <laughs> yes, Rita, what can I get you? Oh, vodka. A large vodka and tonic and a pint of arsenic that I can take back for Norris. Get into you, is he? That man would drive Mother Teresa to mass murder. <laughs> oh, Ken, the very man. Rita. How are you with computers? Well, I can turn one on. Oh, then you can do more than me. Now, tell me, what are those little eyes called that they have on the telly? And you see them on the computers. Eyes? Yeah, they have them for surfing the well, net. They're webcams. They're cameras that are linked to the internet. Oh, where can I buy one? Oh. Didn't have you down for a silver surfer, Rita. What? On the internet. Oh, no, no. It's not for me. It's for Norris. What's he want with one of those? Well, he's been going on about how we should be more technically minded, you know, and get the till updated. So I thought I'd get one of those little cameras and stick it on the till and let him think I can still see him, even though I'm not around. That should shut him up. Are you serious? Deadly. If it makes him paranoid for only ten minutes, it'll be well worth it. Well, I've got a video camera. Not quite the same thing, though. Oh, no, that'd be great. Uh, could you drop it off later? Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, Mr Baldwin, 
Mr Baldwin, please, you can't just go barging through the whole hospital. I know what you want me to do, love. You want me to go home, don't you, and wait for news. Well, I ain't going anywhere until I found my old man. Got it? You're causing a disturbance. I'll cause more than a disturbance. Don't you worry about that. You got security cameras? Well, of course you've got security cameras, because I've seen them on the news when the nutters come in to steal the babies. Your father wasn't in the maternity unit. And that's supposed to be funny, is it, eh? You're not telling me this place ain't rigged up with CCTV. There are some Right, cameras. well, come on. I'm on the wait and call the old Bill, because if anything happens to my old man, I'm holding you personally responsible. It's not my fault. Not your fault. Of course it's your fault. Mr Bob... Listen to me. My dad ain't well. You've had him wired up to machines all night, got it? He's confused and scared. You understand that, don't you? All I want to do is find my dad and look after him. Oh, did you manage to sort Rita out? I certainly did. Poor Norris. Oh, can you imagine what it's like working with him? Day in, day out. <laughs> I think Rita shuts him out. She only hears what she wants to hear. Like me and Fred. So much for your quiet day thinking. Still, it's nice and quiet in here now. Oh, I'm sure you prefer it much busier. Oh, not me, love. Leastways, not till me and Fred sign the register. So then I'm just the hired help, and the more rest my feet get, the better. You don't want to retire too soon, take it from me. He's in his mid-sixties. He's not a tall bloke. Any distinguishing features? He's in his slippers and pyjamas, mate. How's that for distinguishing? Do you think I should take my van out and have a drive round? An elderly man in his nightwear who needs an oxygen mask. Odds are he hasn't left the hospital grounds. I've been here all night. I just went home to have a bath and fetch some cordial. I mean, you'll pick up the sets quick enough because they're all the old standards. Did you ever get asked for requests? Yeah, sometimes. We always try to accommodate. Often as not, they're happy enough if you just offer them something else instead. Of course, if it's a golden wedding or something, then we ask up front if there's any special songs that they want. I can pick things up real quick. Do you, uh, you want another drink? Oh, ta. Please. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Can you... Uh, you get a minute. Uh, same again, is it? Please. Now, this set we call the Blue Laguna. It's all the standards with just a hint of Calypso. Oh. They're going over band parts together. You make it sound like they're planning to blow some it up. Yeah, well, any explosions will come from me. Oh. Do you know, I sound like Jim. He could never accept the fact that I could be mates with some men. As soon as a fella looked at me, he would see us in bed together. I used to say to him, you're completely irrational. The sounds of it, he was. Is that what I'm being? Irrational? <laughs> yes, you are. Jealousy ruins relationships. You'll know that from your marriage. But the thing is with Jim, it were way out of order. I once said to him after we'd split up, but you thought I was sleeping with him. So I thought, well, I might as well. May as well get blamed for something I'm actually doing. We'll learn from that. Look at him. He's got music on his mind. Now else. If you go on imagining the worst will happen, you'll end up pushing them together. Any luck? No, this is ridiculous. Well, where's he got to? Have you searched the grounds, haven't you? Not a sign. I mean, what if he's stuck somewhere, like a storeroom or something, and he can't get out? He don't know what's going on at the best of times. I don't think he's here, you know, otherwise someone would have found him by now. Well, look, it's getting dark. I mean, what if he's out all night again? He'll be all right. No, he won't. I mean, even when we find him, he's not going to be all right, is he? He's never going to be all right again. Jamie, he... he'll be OK. Look, I can't hang around here. I'm going to have a drive around and see if I can find him. Well, what about me? Well, you want to come with me? Well, I suppose I'd better wait here. Fine. of you. Factory's closed. Let's get you inside. I, I haven't got a key. 
get you to my place, get you from there. Mike, you're meant to be in hospital. I always keep my keys in my pocket. Mike, you're in your pajamas. Yeah, but... Oh. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. I'm calling an ambulance. Uh, yeah, ambulance, please. Damn him. Yeah. Yes, go have an ambulance, please. Oh, quickly. You can make anything. Coronation Street, Weatherfield. No, no number. We're out on the street itself. It's a very tough five. Yeah, well, it's a friend of mine. He's meant to be in hospital, but Alma. I found him out here in his pajamas. Alma would be worried about me. Baldwin. What's My your Baldwin. phone? Phone Alma for me. It doesn't look too good. If you could have She'll it, be... Thank you. She'll be in the calf. All my feet are cold. Yeah, I had the keys in my pocket, actually. Yeah, it was opposite, opposite the Rovers, but now it's gone. It's all right, Mike. It's no, it's right. not, it's gone! No, Mike, it was not down, Mike. This is your factory now. You own this factory. What are you doing here, Paul? Looking after you. I don't need... don't need anybody looking after me. Where's, where's Deirdre? She's at home. Oh. Yeah, but who's home? There's something I've got to tell you about me and Deirdre. I know. What? She told you? Mike, that was a long time ago. No, 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 no. No, she's going to leave you. She's going to come and live for me. She's going to get the kid, that, that uh, Tracy, and she's going to come and live with me. You're finished, Barlow. Deirdre loves me. She's mine, I... Oh! oh. No. oh. Mike! Oh. Mike! Oh. No, you don't, Baldwin! Oh. No! No, you don't, Mike! Oh. Come on! Come on! Oh. oh, no! No! He can't be dead. Get off him. There's nothing you Just can get do. Get off him. Get off him. Mike. 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 Mike, listen, it's Dan. Mike. Come on, Mike. Dan? Michael, come on. Mike, it's Dan. Cadbury Flake Praline, the latest addition to the street.